I got my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from Boston University back in 2012 and the other day I was taking a shower and wondering how much money I actually spent during those four years to get this piece of paper and no longer have any excuse to ask my parents for free stuff. So I decided I would share the exact numbers with you guys. In this video, I'll talk about how much tuition was, the cost of rent, food, textbooks, and all of the other random things that I bought to hopefully give you a better idea of how much you can expect to pay at a four-year university for an engineering degree in the US and whether my degree was actually worth the money compared to what I make now. I'll go in chronological order and break down how much I spent in each semester. My school followed a semester schedule, so each school year had a fall and spring semester for a total of eight semesters. Now let's get started. My life as a naive engineering student began in the fall semester of 2012. This semester was four months long from September to December 2012 and tuition was $21,200. Because my school required freshmen and sophomores to live on campus and purchase a meal plan, I paid $4,300 for rent that term and I lived in an earth house which was a brownstone located in south campus at our school. Personally, the rooms were really old and I had a roommate that played League and StarCraft 24-7. Also, the bathroom was shared between seven people so there was zero privacy. However, considering I did end up meeting some of my best friends there and the fact that there was a 7-Eleven right next to my dorm, I think it was ultimately worth it. The meal plan that term cost $2,295 and how it works is that my school offers four to five different types of meal plans tailored for different types of students. For example, some plans offer more meals that can be used at any of the four all-you-can-eat dining halls, while others offer less meals but more dining points that can be used at places like Starbucks, Subway, and Panda Express. We were also required to purchase health insurance for $1,989. There was also a ResNet fee of $332, which covers internet services like Wi-Fi and Ethernet. My school also tried really hard to hustle me to buy a sports pass for $115 which gives us access to all school athletic events like hockey and basketball games. But luckily we were able to opt out, which is what I did because I'm poor. There was also an orientation fee of $240 and an undergraduate student fee of $297. The funny thing is I didn't even attend orientation because I was too lazy. So this ended up being a complete waste of money. But first of all problems, right? <laughs> Also, I took four courses that term and made the rookie mistake of buying all my textbooks brand new when I could have just downloaded them online for free, legally. My physics and calculus textbooks were $250 alone, so in total, I spent a whopping $400 on textbooks. I also made the mistake of spending way too much on little random things like 7-Eleven hot dogs, Arizona iced teas, booze, and taking a road trip to Acadia National Park during Thanksgiving break with a doormat. All of this added together costed me $1,000. So adding everything up, this semester would have cost me $32,053, but luckily my school gave me a four-year scholarship provided I maintain a GPA of 3.0, which I almost didn't, but I ended up saving $14,200 per semester, which I'm extremely grateful of. So the fall semester of my freshman year ended up costing me $17,853. I hope you're enjoying this so far. Let's keep going. The spring semester of my freshman year was from January to May 2013. The tuition that term was again $21,200. I lived in the same dorm, so again that was $4,300, and I had the same meal plan, which was $2,295. Again, there was the undergraduate student fee of $297. Although I took five courses that semester, the calculus and physics classes used the same textbooks as the previous term, so I only needed to buy one book for writing class, which cost $20. As I learned to better manage my money this semester, I only spent $500 on food and miscellaneous items compared to $1,000 the previous semester. However, there were two surprise expenses that semester. So my roommate ended up losing his key and our room lock needed to be replaced, which cost me $95. I swear schools will find any excuse to snore our money. Now the second surprise expense was a little bit more complicated. The school called it an apartment damage penalty and they charged me $100 for it. My school did not explicitly tell me what exactly was damaged, but putting my engineering mind to work, I think it was all of the irreversible stains on the hardwood floors and desks caused by all of the trash we had accumulated throughout the semester, but I could be wrong. So adding everything up, the cost of this semester was $28,807 and I ended up paying $14,607. Moving on to the fall semester of sophomore year from September to December 2013. The tuition this term was $21,985 and I lived in a building called Hojo. 
This place used to be a Howard Johnson hotel, so you would think that the living conditions are better than the average dorm, but you'd be wrong. The windows in all of the rooms are this tiny, so the lighting is really poor, and you get a feel for what it's like to live in Sona Penitentiary and Prison Break. Anyways, rent that term was $4,465 and the meal plan was $2,345, which is just slightly more than the previous semester. There was also a $200 price hike in the health insurance, which cost me $2,141 for the entire school year. This term, my school also introduced a community service fee of $50 to support student clubs, as well as a health and wellness fee of $160 to support student health and wellness services that everyone had to pay. To be quite frank, all of these fees sort of remind me of Medicare tax, which were a complete waste of money for me because I didn't even have time to join any clubs or have any health issues. But I digress. Oh yeah, and then there was a student services fee of $260 that's quote unquote allocated to student support services and technology resources as described on my school's website. Like, can my school be any more vague in the description? What does that even mean? That term, I took five courses but only bought textbooks for differential equations in Chinese class, so my total textbook spending was only $75. And this semester, my dorm was also right next to Mercy on the Commons, which is my school's newest and best cafeteria in my opinion. So I basically ate here three times a day, and I was able to reduce my spending on food and miscellaneous items down to about $200. Finally, I don't know what was wrong with me that semester, but I ended up losing both my student ID card, which was $40 to replace, and my room key, which was another $95. So adding everything up, this semester cost a total of $31,816, and I ended up paying $17,616. Next is the spring semester of my sophomore year from January to May 2014. Tuition for this term was $21,985, and I lived in the same prison-like building, so rent again was $4,400. $65. The meal plan again cost $2,345 and there was a community service fee of $50, a health and wellness fee of $160, and a student services fee of $260. I took four courses that semester but I only bought one textbook for material science class which was $50. Because I lived in the same dorm that term, I ate exclusively at Marciano Commons right next door, so I only ended up spending $200 on miscellaneous items and food. Lastly, my school charged me an apartment damage penalty of $17, which I didn't even bother asking about. So adding everything up, my total expenses for that term came out to $29,532, and I ended up paying $15,332. Moving on to the fall semester of my junior year from September to December 2014. We are now officially 50% of the way there to get my engineering degree, and I have yet to drop out of college, believe it or not. Tuition that term was $22,843, and the rent was $6,035, which was $1,600 more than the previous term, and you might be wondering why. Well, I still lived on campus, but I lived in a room with a roommate and a private bathroom, and what I would call half a kitchen with this really crappy stove and oven. It was actually on the same street as my freshman year dorm and very close to 7-Eleven. Again, there was a student services fee of $270, a health and wellness fee of $167, and a community service fee of $52. That term, I took four courses and I rented my textbook for intro to architecture class, which cost $20. Because my apartment had a kitchen, I didn't buy a meal plan that semester, and I just cooked my own meals. The funny thing is, I spent around $800 on groceries and random items, so it ended up costing the same as a meal plan. So adding everything up, this term cost a total of $32,128, and I ended up paying $17,928. Next up is the spring semester of junior year, which was from January to May 2015. Again, the tuition was $22,843, and the rent was $6,035. I hate to sound like a broken record, but again, there was a notorious student service fee of $270, a health and wellness fee of $167, and a community service fee of $52. To me, that's just like flushing $500 worth of cash down the toilet. That term, I didn't buy any textbooks for the four classes that I took, so my textbook spending was $0. My courses that term were also pretty difficult, including mechanics two and fluid mechanics, so I ended up ordering delivery three to four times a week, which cost me $1,500. So adding everything up, this semester cost a total of $30,867, and I ended up paying $16,667. 
Moving on to the fall semester of my final year of university between September to December 2015. Tuition that term was $23,711, which was $900 more than a previous term. For rent, I lived on campus in an apartment with three bedrooms, one bathroom, and one kitchen. I had my own tiny room and I shared the kitchen and bathroom with two other roommates. Luckily, one of my roommates was never home, so my friend and I got the entire place to ourselves and I ended up paying $7,510. The meal plan I got that semester was called the apartment plan and it cost $750. Basically, it's for students who pay $1,500 extra for their kitchen but are too lazy to cook. Health insurance for that term cost $1,945, and as you probably can guess, there was a student services fee of $274, a health and wellness fee of $174, and a community service fee of $54. I took three courses that semester, and I bought a used textbook for my heat transfer course, which cost $20. Finally, I started living very frugally that semester because I was so scared I wouldn't be able to find a job after graduation, and so I only spent $200 on miscellaneous items like food, shampoo, toothpaste, and haircuts. Adding everything up, this term cost a total of $34,638, and I ended up paying $20,438. Finally, we had my last semester of university, which was from January to May 2016. Tuition that term was again $23,711, the rent was $7,510, and the mail plan was $750. There was again the student service fee of $274, a health and wellness fee of $174, and a community service fee of $54. I took three courses that semester and I spent zero dollars on textbooks, which was really nice. Because I had no jobs lined up, nor received any grad school acceptance offers at that time, I thought it would be a smart move to save the money I earned from my internship and my research position, and so that's what I did. I only ended up spending $150 on random things that term. So summing everything up, my last semester of university cost $32,623, and I ended up paying $18,423. Now adding up how much each semester costs excluding scholarship, the grand total is $252,464, and including scholarship, it's $138,864. Holy moly, I did not expect that. That is an insane amount of money. Let's be realistic here. I could buy a used Lamborghini for 250k or even a house in most parts of the United States. In retrospect, I probably could have attended a state school for free, but I wouldn't have met the friends or gained the experiences that I have today. But of course, that's all speculation. I believe that everything happens for a reason. And for me, it just so happened to be Boston University. Do what works best for you based on your situation and embrace all of the opportunities. I can't say whether I would have a better life if I didn't attend Boston University or if I skipped college to start a business. All of that is unknown. But what I can say is that I don't have any regrets about my decision to attend Boston University. Okay, maybe a little after seeing how much I spent. But in all seriousness, I'm happy with my life, the friends that I have, and I'm grateful of my current mechanical engineering salary, which covers the cost of my degree. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful and have a better idea of how much you can expect to pay for an engineering degree. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.